my name is Savina Francisco. I'm a fantasy wildlife artist and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw whisker, animal whiskers and fine fur and this technique also works really well for human beards. So let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about the tools that you need. Of course, you need a pencil. I'm using a clutch pencil. You can use a clutch pencil, mechanical pencil, wooden pencil. It doesn't matter what kind you use. I'm using graphite for this particular video, but this technique also works really well for a colored pencil. The other thing that you're gonna need is a stylus. I got mine from my online art supply store, but you should be able to get these at your local stores. They're actually really inexpensive and they're definitely worth it. They are really great for a lot of techniques. This is one of them. Um, they run anywhere from two to five dollars, something like that but they're, they're really, really worth it. If you don't have a stylus laying around and you would like to try the techniques that you learned from this video, then you can also just pick up a couple of nails. Make sure that you have at least two size nails. If you're going to do this technique using nails, then make sure that you have at least two sizes. A stylus has two ends. It has a small end and a thick end. And so you wanna make sure, and each end has its own purpose. And so you wanna make sure that you have something that represents that if you're going to use nails. If you don't have any nails laying around, then you can always use a safety pin. This is, safety pin is last resort because safety pins have an extremely thin end no matter what size that you use it really is just if you're in a pinch um, but they can they can create effective marks also all right so let's go ahead and get started with the technique what you want to do is if you're using a stylus we're going to go ahead and start off with the small end what you want to do is you want to lay the stylus on your paper and you want to start making marks as though you are drawing fur or whiskers on the paper. You want to have all of them um, be pretty even the way that you would if you were actually drawing whiskers or fur on paper. And what happens, you don't have to push very hard with the stylus, you just want to very lightly indent the paper. What happens is that when you indent that paper and then you lay the graphite down, the graphite actually goes over the top of the paper. It does not go into those grooves. It leaves those grooves perfectly white. So what it, en what it ends up looking like is it, it looks like fur or whiskers. So you can do this with any type of with any type of white fur. Now, keep something in mind. You do not want to draw fur by doing this motion as I am doing. When you draw fur, it's more of an individual stroke. I'm not going to show you how to draw fur in this particular video um, because I have a couple of videos that are specifically for that. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to draw fur, do not do this. You wanna draw using individual strokes and it's the same for whiskers as well. One tip that I will give you is, I would use the small end for doing very, either very fine hairs on the edge of the animal or for doing whiskers for a smaller animal like a rat or something like that. If you try to use the fine end and make whiskers for say a tiger, it's going to look silly. It's going to look wrong and, and misshapen. So you wanna keep that in mind. Make sure that you are conscious of which end of the stylus that you are using. All right, let's go ahead and use the thicker end now so that you can see the difference between the two. And again, you don't have to push very hard at all. Hopefully you are able to see these marks on the video. They're really clear in person. You're able to see them really clearly. So, so just know that when you do them in person, they're gonna show up nice and crisp and nice and clear. The thing I like about the stylus is that it's very lightweight and it's really easy to use and you don't have to push very hard on the paper because it has round ends. Um, so you don't have to worry about it scratching your paper. So if you do not have a stylus, you can go ahead and use a couple of different size nails to take its place. If you're using the small nail, here's a little tip for you. What you wanna do is you want, I didn't have time to do it this time, but what you wanna do is you wanna wrap the end of the nail with some tape. And if you have a clutch pencil around, you can stick 
the nail in where the lead would normally go, obviously take out the lead, but you can stick the nail in where the lead would normally go and the clutch pencil will hold on to it for you. So you can basically use this like a pencil and it makes it a lot easier and it actually makes it so that you have some much nicer marks. But I'm just gonna show you really quickly what the, um, what the marks look like. Now with the nail, obviously it has a very sharp point. So you wanna make sure that you lay it completely on its side. You do not want that point digging into your paper, especially if you have some fine, um, you know, fine, nice papers. You wanna be really super careful that you're not ruining it. Okay, now the thing about the, the other thing about the nail, using a nail, is that you aren't going to get marks that are quite as nice and even as you will with a, with a stylus. But if you use it with the clutch pencil, it can get close. Okay, the marks are a little bit smaller with a nail than they are with the stylus. Okay, let's show you what it looks like to use a larger nail. The larger nail marks actually, it's been my experience that the larger nail marks actually look pretty, pretty close and pretty nice to what a stylus can produce. Still not quite as, as even, but they can be some, they can be, you know, pretty, pretty clear. All right, so that's how you use a nail. Let me show you with a safety pin. Again, you wanna be really careful because the safety pin has a really sharp point, so you wanna make sure that you lay it completely on its side because the safety pin of all of the tools that I'm showing you, a safety pin will be the first one to dig into your paper. Even on its side, it's still got a sharp tip, and so it's, it's really not, not paper friendly. So you have to be very, very careful. And as you can see, now if you need really, really super fine marks or super, super, super fine hairs, then the paper clip, I keep wanting to call it paper clip, the, the safety pin is definitely the way to go because it can get even finer marks than, than the stylus can. All right. So a couple of other just really quick, quick notes. Um, Again, you wanna make sure that you use the fine end for smaller animals and the large end for bigger animals. You want to make sure that you lay your tools on their side so that you aren't digging into your um, paper. And also, even though I said that I wasn't gonna tell you anything about how to draw fur, I will make one point, which is that when you are drawing fur or whiskers, you wanna make sure that even though everything is going in the same direction, make sure that some hairs are a little, a little more wild. Some, make sure that some hairs cross other hairs and that they go in a slightly different direction because even an animal who has a completely smooth coat has single hairs that cross or that go in a different direction. If you try to make everything look too uniform, it's gonna look unnatural. All right, so I hope that those techniques, that technique was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments about the, the technique that you've learned in this video, then please feel free to leave those in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe also so that you do not miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much, bye.